Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. In the last episode, we finished out our our evening at the ball. Had some had some real sweet moments with Triss, and then found uh, Albert Vagel, bud. And man, he's yeah, he wasn't he really didn't take the situation seriously at all. It was ridiculous. And yeah, as expected. People came for him, but luckily we were wearing his mask instead, and they came after us. Which just shows they paid no attention to anything else but his mask. Now the fact that we are taller than him, we have white hair, <laughs> uh, dressed completely differently. But hey, they're witch hunters, what do they know? So, him and Triss escaped, and we're gonna meet her, we're gonna meet up with her at some point, to say goodbye. Which is really sad. But we got a lot of stuff to do before then. And I I will not have us miss out on anything. So we have a we have a contract we picked up a while back. Not so much a contract, but basically there was a monster monster, we don't know, running about the city. So we have to talk to the supervisor, find out exactly what the hell is happening. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. All right. I'd like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Supervisors. Exactly. Exactly. So what do you do here? I supervise. <laughs> supervise other people doing the job. I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then some other bloke's already after it. Ah, oh, shit, really? Okay. Where'd the beast last attack? Anyone seen this monster? Someone's taken the contract? Who? I kind of want to know who. But that might be... That uh, might be a waste of a question. Uh, Where did they last attack? We'll go check that out. When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Shit. Oh, we could ask multiple. Okay, cool. Uh, that sucks. If it's been lying in there, it probably smells awful. Ugh. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No. Just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Interesting. How do you know it's a monster then? Could just be a dude killing people. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Great. <laughs> Thanks. So long. Alright. Well, I guess let's go look at the crime scene. We'll start there. It's good he left it intact, I guess, that we can actually look at it. Is there anything on the outside? <gasps> yes. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter. Oh, those are. Look at those feet. Ooh. Ooh. It came out of here. Interesting. Damn. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Curious. The monster was wounded. Did you wound him? Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Oh, shit. No way. 
A vampire. So this is what, and it's like Batman form. Oh. Seems like it had lost some strength. Was sneaking along the shoreline. He's trying real hard to be sneaky and not seen. Weak. It was too weak. Could have died. It's bleeding the whole way. Shit. Now it goes into the water. Tracks end here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. Okay. Uh. This is wild. Also terrifying. Like, like if it's a, if it really is like a lesser vampire, like damn, you can't you're not safe anywhere if you're alone. Oh shit. Rat corpses, not a drop of blood left in them. Got to be an Ekimara. <gasps> ooh, ooh. I think we fought one of those once. I think it was in one of the caves. Okay, <laughs> I think we found it. Okay, uh, be sure what the hell that actually is. Is it a vampire's its own section? Cool. Sick. So. Devil's Puffball, Vampire Oil, and Igni. Pretty straightforward. They're gross looking. Okay, let's make sure... First things first. Pretty sure I have Vampire Oil. Just don't really remember what it looks like. Enhanced Vampire Oil! Oh, you're fucked up now. <laughs> So, that Meridian Bomb, yeah, because it was, it was the Devil's Puffball, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, cool. Okay. Let's do it. Oh shit, what? Well, how long you gonna make me wait? Ha! <laughs> Bitch. Oh my god. I didn't think he was here. That's awesome. It had just <laughs> caught me off guard. Oh my god. Hell yeah. Dude, we haven't seen this guy in forever. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. Oh, where have you been? What have you been up to? What's going on, dude? It's been a while. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Damn. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. <laughs> package deal. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got okay. a reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? <laughs> Let's go. You know what? Yeah, we'll go in. Uh, but I kind of want to loot the monster. I'll join you later. Join you for that later. Wait up for me. Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah, had a chat with a guardsman outside it. See you there. Cool. The only reason I did it is because I want to take these. Uh, is there anything else in here that's interesting? Burned bread. That sounds awful. Okay, well. Always good to have Dwarven Spirit on hand. Anything else? Phosphorus, cotton, some alcohol. Cool. All right, well, let's go meet up with Lambert now. Let's 
A lot of dwarven spirit in here. Oh, a lot of, a lot of little that. Damn, we got dwarven spirit for days. All right, cool. Something on this table, right? Oh, but there's stuff on the shelves. Cool. All right, Lambert. Holy shit, I'd... And when we saw Lambert, we only saw him in a dream. So we haven't even really seen him... at all. Actually. However long it's been... since, uh... since we left Kaer Morin. Damn. Sir. Let's collect our reward. Oh, you have your second sword now. Sick. So, what do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. <laughs> ah, you know what? You make a lot of good, you make good sense. It's like, oh my god. Great. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. Oh. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Keridin? Talk. <laughs> Yad Keridin? What? Hold on. Lambert, calm down. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Caradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off. Before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Caradin? Asking you for the last time. Guards! To the dungeon with them! Ah, oh, shit. What? What? Oh, uh, mm. <laughs> Huh? Hold on, realist? I didn't say anything. God damn it. Guys, look. You... Your boss... Got you killed here. Okay, let's be real. Okay. Let's be real. It was really unfortunate. It was a dick move. Who this is guy's this guy? This more trouble than the Yakimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vien. Oh. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. The fuck? Oh. Okay. Uh. Man. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you, uh, explain what the hell this is going, this is about? What the hell, Lambert? That was murder. Was that really necessary? Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern Vienne frequents? Yeah. See you later. Oh boy. This has escalated beyond, uh... Well... Beyond the Ekimara. Shit. Well, poker. I guess, you know, if the supervisor is not going to use... Ooh, that looks cool. Wolf sword. Looks awesome. Is it better, though? Probably not. Technically. <laughs> like, technically. Right? Yeah, that thing looks sick. And what is it? It's just, uh... I'm losing the experience from humans and non-humans and sign intensity. But... If I... I have... Add sign intensity. 
Cause bleeding. Stun. Chance to burn. So bleeding is always good. Chance to poison. Stagger. Sign intensity. So now... This is now at 5 sign intensity. And it bleeds. Nice. And then these, both of these pants are technically better. But... Is it worth? Is it worth trading it out? We gotta do. We gotta get the cat school. We gotta get the cat school set too. Damn! Look at that. Can't even really see it. Damn it! That's a cool looking sword. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's a cool looking sword. All right. Look at it. so many strangers in my life. Looks nice. I like the twist it's got in it. Alright. So the cats. The seven cats. Never seen one like him before. Sick. Sick of it. <laughs> Would you be keen on helping me with a very important matter? You know, I just happen to be here, so you know why not. <laughs> but gotta say. I like Lambert, but this is Seems a bit much. I don't know what the hell is happening? What do you want? Name's Muggs. Rostin Muggs. Need your help in a grave matter. No. How can I help? What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Damn. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get it back for me. Um... <laughs> just like, you get my papers back? Like... Yeah, sure. It'll cost you. I don't work for free. That I know. Since the dawn of time, no witcher's lifted a finger without pay. Have a smatter in the coin in the soles of my boots. Return the documents, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Okay. I mean... Might be my last chance. I'm out of ideas if this don't work. Hey, let's be real. Oh, a you know, pass. new swords, armor, outfits, you know, food. Alchemy supplies. Look all it's not all free. That's what it takes to hunt monsters. Oh shit. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Mugs was attacked here. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the Whoa. bottle. Mugs was attacked here. Nice. Oh, yeah, he hit he hit the guy with it, so like the guy stinks. The guy smells awful. Dwarven moonshine. Yikes. Oh. Think you're slick, huh? Just kidding, it's not you. <laughs> Is it the cat? Okay. God, every cat hates us. Oh. It's you, Gerd. Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. <laughs> he lost, That's funny. demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Uh, uh, interesting. I can't tell if that's true or not, actually. That's weird. How much are they worth to you? Well, I don't read myself, but I've seen the seals. I know it ain't no scrap of last white. I won't sell them to the first fella comes asking. Cool. Give me the papers now. Give me the papers now. I'll play you for them. Give me the documents. You have to. 
It would be so dramatic to play him for them. But also, we... This is also a good idea. Give me the papers. You have to. True. Definite. 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 Well, you have a good day. Pleasure doing business. It's exceptional. So you look at that. That was handled in the most pacifist way possible. And we're out here slaying monsters, running errands, helping everybody that needs something. Trouble? No, not yet. Uh, we gotta go meet Lambert. This is gonna happen in between. <laughs> so we don't even know who he's looking for this guy because he got real aggressive. He should have killed that dude That's after he got the information. <laughs> well? Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. Huh? The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Wengerberg. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W w what was it to do? I he weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I have neither gumption to show me face at home. You lost. You lost the papers. That was dumb. And then, they'll literally be like, what was I supposed to do? Like, not attack him for winning? Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. Better not. Jeez. Ridiculous. How much money did we get? 20 bucks. Sick. <laughs> okay, uh, we are... This one. Following the thread. Oh. Where is that? Is that across the lake? Swim. You know, just real straightforward. We already looted these. They're just floating around. Like, nobody's suspicious about that. <laughs> Oi. Okay. Well. Oh, yeah, wrong. We were literally just here. <laughs> What's up, dude? All right, high time you explain some things. Why did you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? No. No, we want to hear all of it. Every detail. Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Wow. <laughs> oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of the Lander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. Well, how'd it work out? As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the Ogre between us. After that... We worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you. You know that. Still, no comparison. <laughs> Damn. Must have been a great guy. For real. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. 
basically turned hired assassins. Oh, Aiden shit. wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. Oh and shit, Keridin. The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Damn. That makes sense. What a bunch of assholes. I didn't doubt it. I was more just like, it seems such an extreme reaction. So. Fuck. Aiden was like his best friend. <laughs> and they all killed him because he was going to lift the curse and they didn't want the curse lifted. Wow, that's shit. And so the school of the cat. They're, they're not. They're not as cool, I guess. Like, they're, uh... What's the word? Well, yeah, like I said, hired assassins. So they're not... They're not... Their morals are not the most, you know, clear. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. So that's the plan. The end. What do you want? We want to see Yad Keridin. <laughs> now, why would I help you? Uh, <laughs> all right, we go. Got it. Because we're asking you nicely. Because we'll get angry if you don't. It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. Mm. Huh? It's a pretty good deal. I was part of Caradin's band. When was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with the lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Oh, great. Carradine's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. Oh boy. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally <laughs> met his match. <laughs> Well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. Oh, shit. That's all over the world. Okay, we got these. Uh, why did you join them? What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces, but I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Oh boy. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh once he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. Shit. Yeah, he's a big name now. Jeez. Okay, and then Solise. Ooh, you clearly don't like, but, you know. This Solise. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. 
runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent, who will suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel. Shit. The Black Lily. Celise always did have horrible taste. <laughs> uh jeez. Interesting group. Satisfied. She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Celise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. He can we'll try. See. As for you. Do what you think's right. Don't kill her. Uh We don't know if he's gonna kill her, you know? We don't know if that's his reaction. He's being very calculated. You know, and I don't want to be like, oh, don't kill her. And he's like, that's not what I was going to do, dude. I'll just go around killing. Uh, do what you think is right. Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches. Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Varen. I told you someone would sooner or later. Nessa tear. Shit. What? Had enough. Oh, god damn it, really? Shit. Well, I didn't kind of... Oh, I didn't see that coming. Fuck. <laughs> you gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Okay. Deal. We need to talk first. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where will we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, okay. I'm off. Good luck. Good, good luck. I, I love how we, we killed them all and just casually walk out. Like, all right, shit, we got stuff to do. Go to Pharaoh. Isn't that's in Skellige though? So that'll definitely be something we take on later. We could go to Skellige now, obviously, but that's not what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. Definitely should go. I think the contracts are higher. Yeah, 14, 15, 16. Let's do these low ones. We gotta go over to the Vagal Buds. We have two reasons to go there. <laughs> hey, Roach at his camp. It's a little ways away. Not too bad, though. <laughs> uh, fucking wild. You troubled me, Greylux. Appreciate that. So, oh man, I can't believe it. Everything's now, connecting. Witches, everything. Everything's Skellige. In that right. <laughs> Not everything Skellige, but like you know, it all it all connects. There's always somebody in Skellige. We'll pay for the free Temeria without blood. Damn the blackened. Oh, you fucking bitch! What? I assume you don't like it if I stole. Right? You off your bloody rocker. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I can tell, like, oh, They don't like Geralt it. Geralt of Vivia. Safe and sound. Yup. What do you do here? 
And Scoia'tael? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoia'tael anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. Okay, even though everyone's like, Temeria doesn't exist anymore. And they're like, no, Temeria will never die. You know, we're fighting for Temeria. You know, the lilies and all that. You know, ever say die. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. It's remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Cool. I know we heard him say that before, but I just want to do as a quick refresher, you know, so everyone's on the same page, just in case. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So? Sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes. When they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Uh... Okay. Why Mulberdale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. Damn. Anything. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, oh, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. True. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Oh, something happened. Yikes. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count on it. Rather not get involved, we can help him. We can help. We're old friends, you know? Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me and Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. We know that tree. Damn. Ugh. Besides helping him out, a witcher. it's going to keep other people from probably getting killed and her getting killed. You've been here, you've been there. A lot of people getting killed. Trouble, Especially those that don't need. When it could have been avoided, you know? Yeah, this is so far away. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully, we get there in time before... All the murder. It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. Oh crap. No sign of this. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. 
She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer over there near the. Death to the black ones! Oh, Circa. Shit. Looks like we're too late. God damn it. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Oh, okay. Save Vess. Kill all the Nilf Guardians. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, she's got a health bar. Oh, shit. Okay, uh. Let's save her first. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use the... Jeez. Okay. I'm over here trying to parry and this is just like, nah. <laughs> Done? Fucking god. Alright. Oh. I can do that too. Oh. Never god doesn't surprise. It, Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. <laughs> You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> oh, god damn it. That was... that was rough. That was... getting yelled at. Oh. Uh-oh. Got a prisoner. Probably be smarter, right? Take him alive. Uh-oh. Got yourselves a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Kill him, Roach. I don't want any trouble. Hard to argue with that. It's true. Like, you know, really... You know, let him know. Hey. We can... We can and will, you know, fight. But we... We're also capable of choosing not to. Smart. Hopefully. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists! He's the occupier! I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go! Before I change my mind. It was a good... it was a good thing. It was nah, good. We should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help? You know where to find me. Yep. And Vess, oh my god. Very hot headed. A very uh, bold. <laughs> Was willing to do anything that needed to be done. It's like shit. I get it, but damn, you know? Fuck. Should we go check out Philippa's hideout? So we also have to go to the Vagal Buds. Damn, her hideout's all the way over here. 
Not too bad. Just behind his camp, too. Shit. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pick this up in the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. This is, uh... It's pretty nuts. Really seeing more of the world fleshing it all out. Yeah, Vess is very hot-headed. For sure. Uh, he... He lectured her. <laughs> he... He was so mad. I get it. You know... Like, it's, it's hard because it's like I get her position, you know? Like, they know the village is going to be, you know, occupied, and they're probably going to kill a lot of people. And she's like, if we can stop that, shouldn't we, shouldn't we? And it's just like, uh, it just like risks other things happening, cascading. But anyway. Talk about that. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.